we're going to add a component and we're going to show how to use the CSS component with it. So I'm going to do an HTML canvas. I'm not going to screw with it at all. You may think my setup looks a little different. That's because I opened the code snippets and dragged it over here to this panel. That's it. Didn't do nothing else. I do have my component windows open. If you want to open it and you don't see it, open, go to Windows, go to Components, and you will open it. And I'm just going to grab a button. And I'm going to drag it here. And I'm going to test it in a browser command. Return. And yeah, it looks just like a button. It says button. It's got really tiny text. Whatever. So something I learned about this, I tried to um, modify it but there's no properties to modify this. You can give it an instance name. So I call it my button. Okay. Um, it's a movie clip, but you can't go over here and mess with it. It's, you can check able, disabled, visible, invisible, and it has a class. That's it. So what you got to do is figure out how to make it look the way you want it to look. Well, at least they did something right in this thing. They got a CSS thing, so drag it over. And this does not show up on your page. It just lets you connect to a new CSS. Now, I'm going to click back on button for a second here. The instance name is also the ID name of the element. That's important. Keep that in mind. So my button is the ID name. So I've got CSS. And I'll name this my CSS. All right. Now the problem is we look for a source. There's no source. I haven't made one yet. So I need to make a CSS sheet. So I use Text Wrangler. You can use any text editor you want, text edit, notebook, whatever. So the first I'm going to do, I'm going to save this as the CSS and I'm going to change it to dot CSS instead of text. That's it. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now it's empty, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Click back here. Come here to the source. Click. Just find um, the CSS right there. Open. Now they're connected. Command return. How do I know that? Here this is. If I look under my developer, you can do this in Chrome, you can do this whatever, but if you look, you can see that my CSS is right there and there's nothing in it. Awesome, right? Great. W, w close. Now also, since we're going to be working in CSS, I highly recommend opening the w3schools.com and go to uh, learn CSS. This will just help you if you can't remember what the different things you can do or how to write a CSS, it's a great way to learn it. So back here. So I have my empty CSS right here and I'm going to connect it to that button. Well we know it's um, pound because that indicates the ID my button because that's what I named it. Open curly brace, skip a few lines, close curly brace. Well, the very first thing I want to do is the font size because that thing is like way too little. So I'm going to go font hyphen size colon and let's look at like 50 pixels semicolon. Save it. Come over here. Now we can test it in the browser. It's easy. You can go into control and you can test and you, can, you know, there you go. It's too big for the space, but obviously we got it right, so we just make the button bigger. Now, a couple of the properties don't really work when you try to CSS them. One is width, one is height. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to make this 45, command return. There you go, see it, nice big button. I also want it to be red, because I'm just feeling that way today. Maybe I could go green, I don't know. But I can come over here, and I can put background hyphen color, colon. I can use the word red. I can use the hex code. I can use uh, all any way I want to write it, but I'm just going to write out the word red, semicolon, save it, come back here. Command return will also put you in the browser. 
and I have a red button. So CSS will work that way for any of the components. That's it. All done. Adios.